Every winter for more than 20,000 years, the same ritual has taken place on islands strung out along the 500 miles of Namibia's skeleton coast. 400,000 fur seals invade the rocks for a few months to mate and raise their pups until the youngsters are strong enough to face the high seas. In the water, the seals are swift and agile hunters with little to fear. But once on land, they are helpless against potential predators. On the islands, this danger didn't exist. Around 50 years ago, humans arrived on their island rookeries to mine phosphate, which forced most of the seals to find a new refuge. The seals had to change their behavior after thousands of years of evolution. They crossed the strait, which separates the islands from the mainland, into unknown territory to settle on beaches that would become their new home. Parked on the edge of an infinite desert, just a few hundred feet would change the lives of future generations forever. For the 20th consecutive year, biologist Ingrid Whistle and her team are driving through the uninhabited desert, which separates the nearest town of Luteritz from the fur seals colony. Two decades of research have allowed Ingrid to witness something extremely rare. She has observed three separate species learning new hunting techniques and new defense strategies for the very first time. She believes that it's the environment and not innate instincts which will determine whether an animal is a scavenger or an active hunter. Before the arrival of fur seals on the beach at Baker's Bay, brown hyenas lived as scavengers like other places in Africa. They fed off the carcasses of seals which washed up on the beach from the islands. Resident jackals hunted lizards, insects, and cormorants in the desert. On their island paradise, the fur seals had no predators. Now, the former balance on this beach has been turned upside down. 20 brown hyenas, 80 black-jacked jackals, and 5,000 potential prey animals, the fur seals. When the fur seals first began showing up, none of the animals knew how to react to one another. The fur seals had no experience with land predators. The jackals were not used to thousands of live prey without higher predators dominating the equation. This is what has fascinated Ingrid for so many years, a situation where hyenas would become the alpha predators, abandoning scavenging behavior to become hunters. She's had to avoid being seen in order to study these wary animals. This colony is a relatively small seal colony for Namibian standards. We've got between 2,000 and 5,000 pups born here each year, so the adult population is times five. So it's, it's quite a small colony. Naturalist Hans Hermann spots a young hyena about 300 feet away. is studying the beach carefully.
Ingrid recognizes the behavior, and she knows this would-be predator has come here to learn how to hunt the seals. Because the adult hyenas don't take the, the cubs or subadults to the seal colony to teach them how to hunt, um, it is really also proof that what they are doing here are innate behaviors. But it's not taught. They've just taught themselves and learned themselves. All African hyenas have the ability to hunt. Those in Baker's Bay must awaken this instinct and learn to hunt from scratch. And there's another species to show them how to do it. So the hyena is just standing there in between looking, thinking, I guess, with a couple of jackals around. Jackals are efficient, natural hunters. By watching them attack a young fur seal, the inexperienced hyena realizes that pups are the easiest prey and that adults don't defend them. It also sees that even young seals are too big for the jackals as they struggle to finish off their latest victim. Hyenas are strong enough to replace the jackals as the dominant hunters here. Ingrid has documented that it takes five years for a hyena to be an effective hunter. The adult has just arrived at a group of seals. So the hyenas are predominantly described as scavengers, which is true for most part of their range. But despite food being available in form of carcasses, they also seem to, like many other predators, they seem to prefer fresh meat if the availability and the um, opportunity arises. So brown hyenas are born with this hunting instinct. However, they are not very skilled, it's difficult to describe, they're not very skilled predators. It's sometimes when you watch them approach seals or forage at the seal colony, that it really looks more like an opportunity that is presented to themselves and they just take it. And yeah, I guess this is going to go on for a bit. Doesn't seem to be in a hurry. The hunt is triggered by movement, by animals running. So as soon as this hunting or a hunt is triggered, they will go, they will run, and they will try to kill. Hyenas have become the dominant predators here, where in other parts of Africa, there are lions and other big cats that are much stronger or faster than they are. The cats leave half-eaten carcasses, which are the core of the local hyena's diet. 